Somehow I made it through Like a virgin Well, hi guys, it's Martin from Martin's Holiday Village, and here we are six days away from getting on board the fantastic Valiant Lady. Um, I've come all dressed up for it. I'm over excited. Hope you guys are. I can see a few of you in the wings down below. Um, I will bring you on camera if you're ready. Um, and if you have any questions to ask, uh, then do ask, put your hands up, and I'll come to you and ask any questions throughout the show. Uh, let me just pop that the best way and i'll add you all in and uh, so we've got jules and ryan hi hello uh, welcome <laughs> uh we've also got marianne there, there sat there brilliant and we've got karen is there as well so fabulous welcome everybody and i'm sure more people will join as we go along um i'm just going to go through what we did last week because we had a bit of a test cruise just to see what we needed we'll go through as much as we know um and good things and bad things i think of all the main thing is is everybody had an email for ordering their tests i know we've sorted quite a couple of people out that had a few issues have you been able to order tests and things yeah yeah that's fine yeah brilliant brilliant they should arrive they're very quick we did them on the previous cruise i ordered them on the friday hubby got his on the saturday and mine came on the sunday so they're pretty quick and they're very easy to do as well. No problems at all uh, on how you do them as well. So it's all good. Uh, takes about 15, 20 minutes. And then you get that lovely negative result and you're happy when the, the 15 minutes you're like, oh, my God, please no, please no, <laughs> please no. Uh, so, no, it, it's very easy to do as well. Um, the boarding process is very easy. For those that are in anything from inside up to balconies, uh, you, you will go to the right of the port, you'll be directed, there's lots of staff from Virgin that put you in the right way. Um, one thing we will say, stick to your boarding times. If you're not, so if you're in half one, uh, sorry, half two, don't turn off at half one because they won't let you in any earlier because they are making it very easy for everybody. So make sure you do stick to your times. You might get in 10 or 15 minutes earlier. We we had to wait, and I had a virgin suitcase. I was like, please let me on, please let me on. And we, mm -hmm. we waited about 45 minutes. So, but if you are waiting, you get to the port, there is a cafe upstairs, you can get a coffee and things, and there's a shop and things. The weather's nice, you can sit outside, but it was rather cold that weekend. <laughs> I was actually, do you know what? I'm going to have to move this because my camera's there, and I need to I keep looking in the wrong way. I'm looking at you guys, I don't, I don't think I'm looking at the camera properly. Um, so, yeah, so embarkation is very, very easy. Make sure they will ask for your insurance. They will also ask for proof of your vaccinations um, that you'll need, and they'll ask for your proof of your test. So that will be needed, and your passports, of course. Make sure, don't forget passports. That's the main one, or you won't be going anywhere. You'll be left on the dock side as we wave away at seven. Unless you're nearby and somebody can run it down quick. If you're coming from up north, five hours, you, you won't be on. Um, any questions around sort of what you're doing to get on board or anything? Not really. No. 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 Brilliant. Uh, what I've done purposely last weekend is I didn't bring a lot of the shit to you. I had my hubby putting pictures up because I want you all to have, if you've not been on board before, that have that element of wow. You know, so if somebody brings it to you before you get on board, you're like, oh, okay, I've seen that already. You know, so I want you to walk on and go, oh, wow, that's amazing. And, you know, it's brilliant. I have got a few little pictures. I mean, as I put up that one, just so you know who I am and who the hubby is, that was us last weekend. So, you know, throughout the cruise, although you're on the group cruise, we haven't organised everything for you because it's three days. There's, excuse my dog in the background there. It's three days and we want you to experience the ship and do what you want to do. We will be in um, bars. I'll let you know this week which bars we're going to be in every evening. So if you want to come down and say hi and have, have a drink with us, then, you know, feel free. The main thing is you've been given onboard credit. Everybody's got onboard credit. Um, and I've, I've got something on. I don't want to say it's organized yet because we're just waiting on the final confirmation from the ship, which I'm hoping to get tomorrow because we're on board in Liverpool, uh, meeting up with the team. 
Um, but it will be something special. And if that goes ahead, I think that'd be great. But we'll let everybody know about that as well. Your onboard credit, you can use whatever you want. You can use it for the spa. You can use it for drinks. Um, you can buy things in the um, Virgin Voyager shop. You can, well, you might, you might have enough to buy a watch or anything, but it could go towards that. Uh, so it's whatever you want to use it for. Um, if you've got an inside cabin, you've got $50. Um, if you've got a out, uh, inside, outside, $50. Balconies is $100. And suites have got $200 onboard credit, and that's per cabin. And that's just courtesy of joining us on the Mermaiden Voyage. So you can use, do what you want with that, guys. Um, so that's fine. What I will do is, as throughout the show, we'll have a look at any comments or questions that anybody has that's not in the show. So please do ask away. Um, any, any, any burning questions covering your onboard credit or anything about your booking so far to make you be able to get on the ship? Anything? Has everything gone smooth? Have you done everything on the app and everything you need to do so far? Uh, on on the, the onboard credit, is that is that for the, the uh for the bars, is it or is that for just the shops? Whatever you want to do with it. Oh. It'll just be put on your account and it'll just come off. Now, in terms of onboard credit, if you've got any bar tabs, which is a good point, Ryan, with your bar tabs and onboard credit, don't panic on the first evening when you're buying drinks and your bills going up and up and up. It'll come on overnight on the first night. Uh, and then it'll just reduce down and it'll show what you what you bought and what, what obviously you've got left. It's quite a very good app because it tell it shows you everything that's been bought and at the top of your app it'll tell you how much you've got left, so and things like that. So it's, you don't get any surprises. Uh, although we are query and we've got a bit and um, nineteen dollar or nineteen pound thirty dollar charge on our last cruise and we don't know what it's for, so we're trying to find out what it's for. I don't know whether it's because I switched a movie on, but it was Ted, which is about 10 years old, and I'm not paying 30 pounds for a movie mm-hmm. like that. <laughs> uh, but that was great. Uh, we had a balcony, so for those in balconies, great, great, great rooms. Um, little little tip for you. Um, I only found it on when we were about to pack everything back up. But just where your bed, you've got your bed sorted that way. Hang on, you can't see me, can you? I'm not in the stream. Let me remove this is the stream. Let's remove that. I was pointing like that then, so you couldn't see. Uh, so where's everybody gone? Uh, so when you're in your cabin and looking at your bed, down below there's some extra storage uh, drawers, as well as the ones in the wardrobe at the side, and you've also got like the rails as well. So Virgin listened from Scarlet Lady about there not being enough um, storage space, unless you're like me and I just live on the case, so it, everything just comes in and out. But if, for those that like to unpack, it's there. Little hints, I don't know if you've heard, there's a crease spray. I don't know if anybody's used them before. Um, we used it last week. I was very, I don't think this is going to work. Where put, spray something on your clothes and it'll come off. You know what? It was the best thing I've ever bought. £2.49 from uh, B&M. I've not seen it in any shops. Uh, you shove it in your hand, in your luggage, and literally spray it. Give it. You literally give your clock whatever you're wearing, a, a rug. rug. Let it dry, and the creases drop out. It was marvelous. I was like, really? Yes. <laughs> so, two forty nine B and M. I'm not. I'm not advertising for B and I'm not being sponsored, but it was literally <laughs> a hit. <laughs> Just in case anybody says anything. Um, so that that was good. There's no irons in your cabin, but there is a, a laundry facility if you want to use it. But I wouldn't. Um, that sort of embarkation. Uh, one thing I would advise everybody to do is on the first day. Nip down to the uh, dock house uh, for around about 3 30, 4 o'clock. Jake, the foodie, will be there and he'll tell you all about the restaurant. Now, not just that, they do the most amazing tapas you'll ever have. The octopus, beautiful, absolutely. It's the best octopus I've ever had anywhere. Now, you think, oh God, I'm going to be eating in the evening, but it literally is just little tiny portions. So it's like a little bit of steak and a little pit of bread and, and things like that. But but do it, go down there, get yourself a glass of wine or a beer, um, and he'll come down and he'll talk about all the restaurants and things like that. So he, and he's a, he's, a, he's a fun guy as well. Um, but I'll probably be in there, even though I've done it once, because I just love the tap out. I could sit there all day eating it. It's that good. Um, and then, you know, do what you want on the ship. You know, you, you'll be able to go around. You'll get a band at check-in. Now, your band is going to be your room key. And also what you would do to charge your bills. So, and it is removed. It's not on and it's stuck on. You can actually take it off very easily. Um, so that's quite quite easy. Quite quite. You've got your card on there. Just don't lose it. But I don't think anybody would be able to do anything with it because when they tap it, 
it comes up with your face on the iPads that they have around the ship. Um, the first evening, just to let you know, we're probably going to meet in On The Rocks, um, which is the bar in the middle of the ship on deck six. Uh, by the, It's called The Roundabout, which is a circular. You've probably seen it in many promotional videos and pictures. It's just a circular bit that goes down between deck seven and six. We'll be in there between six and seven on the first evening. If you haven't already seen us before in the dock house. <laughs> Uh, so we'll be there. I'm going to be on with my brother. Never cruised before. He's a virgin cruiser, him and his wife. So I'm really excited about that. I'd love to see what they think. He's six years younger than me, so it'd be nice to see. Um, have you got any questions about what we've covered, anything? I'll keep asking throughout, and we'll have a look in a moment, see what anybody uh, put on. Um, so any questions? Oh, the only uh, One thing I was wondering was, like, the dress code. Is it quite casual? Yeah, very casual. I mean, I'd say in the evening, um, it's probably what you go to a posh, posh pub or a restaurant in. So there's no ball gowns and dinner suits or anything like that. Um, I mean, let me just see what pictures I've got. Let's just see if we can get a couple of my pictures up here of what we wore in the evening. Uh, bear with. Um, let's have a quick note. Have we got any on there? It's interesting, I should say. I'm just trying to find what we wore. Do you know what? I've not got any pictures because I made the hubby do everything last time. Um, I'm not down by just a moment. No, we'll no, literally we just wore um, wore shirts and a pair of chinos, a pair of smart jeans. Nothing, nothing on toward. One thing I would say is a couple of thing events that go on. Um, now I'm doing it today because you can always get to Primark or whatever you need to go to. Um, is they have a pajama party, if you want to go to the pajama party, which we are doing, we've ordered our PJs. I mean, I know I'm 47, we're approaching 48, hubby's a bit older, but you know what? You're on a cruise, let's just do it and have a laugh, you know? So we've ordered our PJs and they'll come by Amazon, greatest thing ever. Um, that's one of them. The other one is the Scarlet Night, so you can wear a hint of Scarlet, you can wear as much Scarlet as you want. We had our shirts from last cruise and we've ordered a new one. So we've got ours and we're wearing shirts and jeans and trainers on that night. And they have a party later on in the evening. The ship goes all scarlet from about nine o'clock in the evening. Not going to spoil anything about it, but it's worth doing. It's amazing. Um, when you get on board, um, on, do you know what? I, I, I like this. Bear with me, guys. Let me just change this position. I, I'm, I'm looking the wrong way. And I'm the screen at the same time. Um, so one thing we we'll say is that the app make sure when you get on board uh, that you do actually just go on your app and book everything you want to do that can be booked. Some yeah. things you'll see that say you can book, you're not actually physically booked. It's just it goes into your diary um, because it's a first come first serve show. So get there 10 or 15 minutes before and then get in because about 15 minutes before the show starts, they'll start to release some seats if you haven't turned up. Um, but the ones I recommend, Dual Reality is an absolutely amazing show. Definitely going to do that. What I am going to try and do is speak to them on board tomorrow is maybe arrange one of the days it's on. Is enough space for everybody in on, on the group to go in on that day if they want to. If you've already organised it, you've already done it and you don't want to go again, don't worry. But it just means that we've got a bit of space reserved for people so you don't sort of miss out on things. The other ones, uh, the show, which was up. I'll be honest, we were on it last year. It's the same show, and we didn't go to it. And the reason was we looked and thought, never sleep alone. And you read the write-up, and you think, I don't think that's me, really. But I would say, go and do it. It's the most funniest cabaret show that you'll ever do. There's a lot of audience participation. The one thing I would say is, um, if you just want to watch, make sure you sit in the voyeur section. If you don't mind being uh, part of the show, then sit in the other part because it is quite funny when you see the things that go on and you can go above as well and so you're not going to get picked out but it is funny dr anya is amazing but do that at least once on the cruise um and then there's something else called the ship show now that's ship s-h-i-p um <laughs> and that i haven't done that yet i've left that for this cruise myself uh but one of my colleagues was in there she showed me some pictures and it looks amazing as well it's more of a comedy cabaret acrobatic sort of shows a bit of everything for everybody like a bit of a variety show 
so that's worth doing as well. Um, what else can I tell you about it? Um, food wise, I don't know what you're booked into or what you what your personal choices are. My own recommendations would definitely be make sure you do uh, gumbe, the Korean barbecue. Uh, make sure you've done uh, the wake, and the other one the is the test kitchen now we booked into the test kitchen and um, there are others which we have done pink agave um which is a mexican themed restaurant um i did it we the starters were great um wasn't over flushed on the main but i don't know whether we chose the right main or not because somebody said the pork belly is, is the best on the on the menu <laughs> oh we don't know about that we'll pay you in and have another go of it at some point um and then uh if you're going to do razzle dazzle um i'd recommend doing it for a brunch as opposed to a dinner um it is a better time to do it we did it and it's amazing now it look if you worry because it says vegetarian don't there's a naughty menu as well which you can do as well so i've done both the naughty and the vegetarian if i'm honest the, ve the vegetarian is nice but i'm a meat eater and a I think the meat one was the better option, if I'm honest. <laughs> so, but the rest of it in the restaurant, the, the atmosphere, how it's all done is amazing. Cookies and cream is to die for. Definitely do the cookies and cream. In, uh, cookies and milk, sorry, if you can. Uh, that's great. Uh, but if whatever you want to do, there's, there's 20 eateries on board. You're not going to get to experience them all. Well, I can give you what I think are the best. Some people have said that extra olive is great. I'll know a little bit more about more about that tomorrow because I'm going in to eat with in extra olive. So anybody who's booked that, I will put a quick video up tomorrow of my review of it, what I thought. Um, yeah, they're the main ones. The buffet restaurant, which isn't a buffet because everything's ordered fresh, which you can go for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Um, the breakfast taco is amazing. Um, the breakfast burger, if you like a big breakfast, <laughs> You, I'd certainly say do it. Uh, I thought it was going to be like a little little burger like that, you know, light. No, it was it was like this big and, you know, you have to cut it in half and things. But then if you want something like a bento box with fruit and yogurt in, that's there and oats. So there's lots, lots of choice there. Um, it, sorry, in, in other breakfasts, is it just in the breakfast, is it only just served in the buffet? Or is it, are they doing breakfast in the other places as well? They will have the wake open for breakfast as well um and there will be in some of the other rep parts so maybe like you know Bre brento boxes there may be um what's the the one they did you've got pastries and croissants that with the, in the coffee shop uh so that's the but with the coffee bear in mind that the because it's a uh, specialty coffee it's not included uh when you pick get it from the coffee house but if you sat down in the um uh, buffet restaurant and you order a coffee uh, then that will be included because it's part of the buffet area if you like but i call it a buffet it's not it's more like a it's like a little street food cart if you like dotted all around you know so you'll see what i mean when i get on board you'll be like oh yeah i get it now but you don't literally you don't go up and you know they'll have a bit of this a bit of that you look on the menu which you do on your phone on your app it brings up a menu with a qr code and you, the waiters will come around what you want and they'll just go away and get it for you fresh and it, it, it's really nice it's a, one of the best buffets that's not a buffet if you know what i mean because <laughs> that's what most crews have that i've seen they've it, it, really done it well um plenty of space there if you need to charge your phones use the there are some tables with phones on air phone chargers you need to charge them up if that's needed uh, but yeah fantastic absolutely fantastic um going into belgium now, I believe we don't need forms, but I'm, t I'm going to advise you all, please do fill one in just in case of any issues, because it was only meant to end on Friday, and I've not seen the, the official notification that it has. So go on and do the form. Has everybody seen the form? No. No. Okay, what I'll do is I'll send out an email with the two forms that you do need to fill in, the one for coming back into the UK, which is still required, um, and I'll send you the Belgian one. Probably, I imagine it's not going to be needed, but I just haven't had that official clarification. So I don't want you to get there without one and then have a worry of like trying to sort it out quickly. So just fill it in. Very easy. It just asks about your tests when they were taken um, or your boosters. Um, and it gives you, you just print it out and take it with you if you want to, or if not, it's on your phone as well. Um, when we get to Bruges, um, if you want to do the trip with Virgin 
or any of their trips, by all means do so. They are amazing trips. If I'm honest, if you're just going into Bruges, um, and I don't know whether they'll kill me for saying this, but there is, if you go out the terminal, when you get the, the sh shuffle to the terminal gates, turn left, and then in the little courtyard there, there's a, an ice cream van. That sounds silly, I know, an ice cream van and a bus. They're selling tickets into Bruges. It's 20 euros return. Um, and they'll take you into Bruges, drop you. It's about a five, ten minute walk into the centre of Bruges from where they drop you um, in the coach park. But it's very easy to do. We did it. Uh, now, if there's four of you travelling, you may want to consider getting a taxi. A taxi is 50 euros and that'll take you straight straight into the heart of Bruges if you want that as well. So it's not much of a difference. Be, that being said, Virgin are charging 50 euros, uh, sorry, 50 dollars each. So a little bit of a walk around and the bus in into, into Bruges and then you do get a bit of time on your own. The shuttle buses run every 30 minutes um, just, from just outside the gate and they drop you off back at the gate and allow you back in time uh, for what you need. So... We did it that way. The other option, if you want to do it on your own, is Virgin will run a shuttle to Blankenberg, um, where you can get a train into Bruges from there as well, and then they'll run the shuttles back. That's a complimentary shuttle if you want to do that. But we just found that um, Cruise Express is called outside the terminal, dead easy, and it was nice, nice and easily done. Um, recommendations for Brussels. <coughs> Muscles and freaks has got to be done. Um, it depends on how big a eater we got one between us this time because the time before we actually had one each and it was a cauldron about this big and that wide <laughs> with fries and things. And you, the Belgian waffles, well, we had one. There's a shop uh, on one of the main streets so you can just have all the sprinkles and you make all, all your own with it. Now, with cream, without cream, amazing, absolutely amazing, and chocolate. First thing we did, we went and walked in the shop and you can pick your own chocolate out one of the machines and it sort of drops all your chocolate in and then they put a hot milk on it and it's like, oh, it's to die for. It really is. Mm. There's so many different flavours. I think it's called, um, I think it's Sweet M or something. I'll put, I'll put the name out if you want to, want to go to it, but it's really good. So I highly recommend that one. Um, and then it's just whatever you want to do. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to have a quick look through some questions. Let's see what's come up um, in case we haven't covered anything. Um, so let's have a little look what we've got here. Oh, there's Lizzie. Lizzie. Lizzie is a bit of a blogger, so she's got her own blog out there about what she's done on cruises. Um, Selena, hi, Selena. Um, okay, so Kelly, yeah, the uh, anybody who's booked on the cruise uh, with ourselves through us, will have onboard credit it's part of it's a thank you for booking with me um and booking with virgin so yeah anybody who's booked with us will have the onboard credit um jade's here uh what else have we got is it we've covered that yet there is a scarlet night we asked the question why scarlet night was on the last night before you're getting off the ship and it's because we're in bruges overnight so a lot of people probably the atmosphere in the ship wouldn't be as good as when it's on a sea day where everybody's around and about because you probably have a lot of people going into Bruges for the evening and things. Yeah. So that was the main reason why that they've done it that way. And um, do I think it's good? I, personally, I think it is. It's just you've got to then repack everything to put it out. But on this short cruise, you've probably just got your trolley bag anyway. So just shove it in. You know, that's what we did. We had a great night. And I think we, I think I went to bed about 2 a.m. <laughs> so, you know, it's like I just just party, you know, you know. You're only on there once. Um, let's have a little look. Uh, how many restaurants? We've covered that. There's 20 eateries on board. Uh, that's the hobby extra version. Uh, is there, is there. Oh, there's a hobby answering the questions for us. Um, thanks for sending out the forms. Is the bus accessible? Now, there is an issue with the buses. I don't, is, I don't think we've got anybody with any accessible issues in our group. Um, but the, the buses that they booked weren't that accessible in terms of uh, trips uh, outside of the port, not ones with Virgin. These were ones people have booked separately. The bus to get you from the terminal, uh, sorry, from the ship to the terminal front, that is accessible. It's, it drops down and it's quite low and the staff are around to help as well. So, yeah, in that respect, to get you to the end of the terminal, that is. Uh, you shouldn't have any problems with that. If, you, if anybody's got anything booked, then do check the Virgin. If you booked it through us or you wanted to check, let us know. That's not a problem. Um, oh, where are we? Uh, let's see, what's this one? 
And Lizzie Lou says, I recommend the Canal Cruise to in Bruges. Yeah, so this is a canal. It, this is one of the most, I won't tell you where it is, but you'll know because there's a, a huge tree that comes down. You'll be able to see it. Um, but it's one of the most picture, pictured places in Bruges. Uh, it's where the canal uh, boats start from. And you want to do a canal tour, then that's fine. Um, there's so many beautiful places to eat as well if you just want lunch. Or if you don't want lunch, just have a hot chocolate and have it, have it jolly around and see what you want to do. One thing that somebody's recommended I haven't done is the horse cart rides around Bruges. Uh, so they start from the centre as well, so they bring you back to the centre. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's just beautiful. Go and find the beer wall. Uh, definitely go and try and find the beer wall um, and have a drink in the uh, beer place at the bottom. That's a highlight I'd say is definitely worth doing. Um, let's have a little look. Uh, what's this? Can you stay... Can you stay somewhere for your computer and stay in a hotel which is further away if you have to stay on the cruise? I don't think you'd really want to do that if you were going away. You, you, you're only off the ship for a number of hours and then maybe going into cruise of an evening. Um, but yeah, Jay, give me a call on that one and I'll go through a bit further because I'm a bit confused about why you'd want to get off the cruise. But give me a call and I'll have a chat about it. Um, and what's this one? Do we need to wear masks on board? No, masks are not compulsory. If you want to, you can do. If I'm honest with you, there was not many people that did. All the staff will wear masks, though. They will all be wearing their Virgin Voyages grey masks uh, throughout the cruise and things. So, yeah, they will wear them. Um, but it's entirely up to you if you want to. Now, that being said, in Belgium, um, I think uh, even if they you don't have to have the form, uh, a lot of their restrictions have been reduced. They do say public transport, you do need to wear a mask. So I was a bit confused personally because when we got the coach uh, into Bruges, we didn't have to wear our masks. We were, weren't told to. Now, I think that might be because it's a private company operating a private charter into Bruges. That might be the reason. Um, but no, even in Bruges, nobody was wearing, there was hardly any people wearing masks, if I'm honest. I think they're like us to get to that point of it's now it more if you want to wear them and things. I didn't wear them on the cruise ship, didn't wear them in Bruges, so because we did panic because stupidly we forgot our masks. Um, and then we were thinking, well, actually, we've got we've got these things here, these might work. <laughs> so, you know, needs more store, we'll buy we'll buy a virgin one if we have to. Uh, but no, 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 you don't have to need uh, don't have to wear them. Um, what's this one? Jay was curious. Uh, what's this one? Katie Kendrick, hello. Um, so yeah, I mean we've got everything ready to go. Re ready to go. I mean you're gonna have a fab time. I'm gonna get do a few little teasers for you tomorrow and things um, while we're on board in Liverpool. Um, but as I say, I don't want to ruin it for you guys because there's nothing worse than seeing somebody else's holiday photos and then you've got the same place. Oh yeah, I've seen this before, you know, and things. So I just want you to go and have a, a great time. If you have any questions whilst on board, um, then first port of call if it's to do with the cruises, say the services. If you have got something with an issue with what we book for you and it's so they've said something's not right, by all means, either message me or come and find me. I'll be around the ship and things, you know. Um, although I'm on there enjoying it with you guys, you know, if there's something urgent or something's not right, I want to make sure it's right for you straight away rather than it ruin your cruise. So do let me know. And then, I don't know, is there anything anybody wants to add in or anything you want to ask? I mean, I'll, I'll keep the question questions going um what's have a look i like to say your outfit well you've got to do these things haven't you i'm not I'm, I'm an utter i'm 47 and i feel like about 22 and it'll never end and when you got on this ship it's like going back to your childhood go and play games in the arcade you know you've got pac-man you've got um you know the uh thing where you used to well it used to batter your fingers that's on board you can table football there's a boxing ring on the top you can box with I haven't actually touched on, actually, the VHS workout. Now, if you want an absolute laugh, but burn calories at the same time, do the VHS workout. It is hilarious. I've got no coordination whatsoever. Um, it was an 80s VHS workout, and it was, it was, just, it was just funny, absolutely funny. Um, I might pop that video on the page very shortly in a teaser. Um, but yeah, it, it was it's hilarious. And we burned 350 calories, so that's probably half a piece of cake that you've eaten on the cruise, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's worthwhile. It's fun. Or even just go and watch it because you just look and think, are we really doing this? Are we really going there? You know what I mean? So I think 
Um, what, oh, what was the name? Remember Thin Lizzy years ago, the Green Goddess and Mr. Motivator rolled into one. Think that sort of thing. It's like we are motivational and things. Lots of proper classes on board. I'm not saying that's not a class, but there's lots of other classes for fitness. There's a gym. Um, now, hot tubs. I don't know if anybody's into hot tubs and jacuzzis and things like that. The hot tubs on the side are, well, they, they call them hot tubs. I call it a communal bath, a warm communal bath. There's no bubbles in it. If you want the bubbles, you need to be in the big jacuzzi that's uh, outside the bar uh, up on the top deck. That's where your bubbles will be because all the others are just literally warm baths. But we got in, we are in, and it was, it, was, it was lovely, don't get me wrong. But I'll tell you what, getting out, it was cold. <laughs> so do make sure you've got your towels nearby or your bathrobes nearby. Um, so that's that one. And I'm trying to think what else we did. Um, in, the, in other spa facilities, you know, yeah. you do, do you think that would be uh, no, blocked up quite a lot or? So the spa will yeah. be fully open. I um, mean, they uh, like what they did. They were doing day pack, thinking of day passes. But I think what they're doing is restricting the numbers. So I think it was it's thirty nine dollars for three hours that they did on the last cruise. Um, and you can go and experience it. So if you want to do that, what I'd say is make that one of your first port of call when you get on board. Okay, it sells it. out quite quickly. So we're I'm thinking of doing it. So because I haven't done it yet, I'd like to. Uh, it's supposed to be brilliant. If you want any of the, the um, treatments, again, get them booked in as well. Same as if you want to use the barber or the tattooist, um, get them booked in straight away so you get the tags that you want as well. Um, but, yeah, the spas, it looks, when I've been in and had a look around, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, I think everybody just wants that picture in the window, don't they, in the sauna. That's what everybody <laughs> wants because there, yeah. there's thousands of them everywhere. There's that picture and the manor with all the lights around, that's what everybody wants. It's the most, I think it's one of the most uh, pictured um, parts of the ship, those two places. So it's amazing. Um, what's this? Uh, Jade wants to see lots of pictures and have a look. Forecast is sunny in Portsmouth and Bruges. We like that. So it, that's what you want. We were over there last week and I don't know if you've seen any of the pictures. My, if anybody don't know my husband and knows us personally on our Facebook, uh, it was like we're in the Caribbean, beautiful blue skies. The sunset in Bruges was amazing because of where we were. I'll pop, I will pop a couple of teaser pictures up because they're not going to ruin anything. But it was beautiful. It really was beautiful. Um, what else have we got here? Do you know if the prepaid donut bar tab is for drinks or can it be spent on other things or on a cruise between the sailor loot? Okay. Um, I don't know what to say here because officially it is for drinks. Please use it on. I'm gonna. I'll put this out there because Virgin may watch in. But please do use it on drinks. But if you do have something left towards the end of your cruise, you may be you may be able to spend it in the casino and get some chips and then try you know have a little bet and a flutter. Um, but that that is officially it is just for uh, drinks. Uh, so, uh, so, but yeah, so that, that I can't really say much because I don't want them to not let me on on Friday. I mean, I'm going on tomorrow. They might even let me on tomorrow. It's like, you can't tell them that. Uh, but yeah, so just if you want to do anything, I'd say the easiest way is do what you need to do, spend your money, and you'll see what you've then spent at the end, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, so that, you, Kelly, if you want to know anything about it, you know, just grab me, uh, drop me an email. No worries. Uh, what was this? Can you book the spa on the app? No, you can't at the moment, uh, but you can book it as soon as you get on board and it will appear on your app. Um, let's have a look. Any Instagram spot tip? Um, the whole ship, basically, because it's a totally different ship. Um, the catamaran net on the gym and tonic bar at the top, uh, which looks right the way down to the bottom of the ship, and you can see the water you're sailing along, which is, if you look at that at night, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the dock house uh, at the back, which is on deck six, that at night when it's absolutely when it's lit up is absolutely amazing. If you look, you look up to the top of the ship, it's beautiful. And if you look the other way, um, down where the wake restaurant is on the uh, deck below, um, all the water's lit up as you're going along. Absolutely, be absolutely beautiful. Um, and you think where else would I say to get your pictures? Um, the sauna, if you're in the sauna, because that's another one. The manor, uh, as you go in the manor, uh, the roundabout is a good one. The, the, the um, DJ decks that are there, 
Um, yeah, there's quite quite a few nice places. Um, in it in a hot tub. That's that's a good one. You know, I've got one of mine in there. You know, and I, I'm a big boy, and I just thought, you know, what, hang it, I'm on a ship. I'm on holiday. Let's just let's like let's just do it. So yeah, they're, they're my main ones. But most of the ship's Instagramable pictures, definitely. So um, let's have a little look. Love the outfit, Martin. Uh, <laughs> looking forward to meeting you. Uh, so yeah, guys, it's it's six days. It's it's not long to go. And <clears throat> I'll give you a recommendation if you're on port. I don't anybody staying in Portsmouth. A couple of re restaurant recommendations are. Uh, Loch Finn uh, at Gunwharf Keys, uh, uh, Algarve, which is a Portuguese restaurant at South Sea. We ate there last weekend. Absolutely beautiful. There are two recommendations that we'd say. Um, but again, Portsmouth is very welcoming. Great place. We're staying at the Holiday Inn Express and then traveling down to the port. Um, oh, my, my Siri just decided to have a kickoff then. Um, trying to think there's anything I haven't covered. Parking. Uh, make sure you book your parking. Um, when you walk in, when you drive in, you'll drive into the parking. As long as it's booked, uh, then it'll just be park up. You get out, you walk around to the terminal, three minute walk. Um, and then when you come out, it's automatic num uh, number plate, automatic recognition. So you don't need to worry. If you haven't booked it already, Portsmouth parking, look at that. And you'll be able to book it at 35 pounds, uh, instead of 39 for the duration. Um, is there anything else? I don't think there's anything I've covered. Tests, make sure you do your tests. Tests must be done a minimum uh, minimum of 72 hours before. So you must book do them depending on your uh, boarding time, not the departure time of the ship, the boarding, your boarding time. So if you're boarding at half one on Friday, you can do a half one. On Tuesday is the earliest you can do it, and any time in between that. So it doesn't have to be at that time, you can do it any time. Um the, if you have an issue and your tests don't arrive, they will have a facility down in Portsmouth. I have asked the question, I'm waiting on an answer back. If you've ordered it and have proof you've ordered it and it hasn't arrived, what will they be doing? Will it be free of charge? If you don't want to do theirs, they will do them for you. And um, if you don't order one and you'd want to do one there, you can do one, but it will be chargeable if you haven't ordered their one. So the best thing is to do the free one, if I'm honest with you. Very simple process, takes about 15 minutes, 20 minutes to do, and you'll all be done. Make sure you do that, because without that, you won't be allowed on. So without that, without your insurance, and without your proof of uh, proof of vaccines and your passport, they're the four main things you need. If you don't have any of them, then we'll be waving you off on, on the key side, which is we, we don't want anybody to be left behind. I really don't. Um, and I think that's about it. What, what's this? Um, when you said insurance then um do you mean just travel insurance travel insurance okay. yes yeah. So, yeah your travel insurance should have covid covid cover cruise cover um and it's, i always recommend two million medical repatriation um which leads into what um jade's just asked what happens if somebody tests positive if you test positive before traveling down don't travel down obviously for obvious reasons um but if you test the positive at the port or before you would claim off your insurance because it is a health reason. Um, so that's why we always say to people, everybody who's booked will have been told, make sure it has COVID-19 cover for that reason, because you'll then be covered. Um, I think I think we've covered everything. I mean, I'm, I'm here all, well, apart from tomorrow, I'm here all week. So if you do have any questions, then do ask. I mean, Marianne, you haven't asked a question. You're okay there as well. Yeah, sorry, I was on mute. Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. You're fine. Karen, have you got any questions? No, I'm good, thank you. Fabulous, fabulous. Karen, I haven't seen you since the 80s cruise. That was the last time we saw, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. Before COVID. Ago. Fabulous. I've never, guys, I'll be honest here. I've been in this industry for 30 years now. Um, I've never done a cruise where I've organised it with everybody coming on with me. I've gone on with different people and a few of us. Uh, so yeah, it's the first one for me. It's a uh, it's Virgin Martin's uh, cruise with Martin. So, but we didn't want to make it like strict in what you want to do. We'll make it enjoyable for you. We'll be there for you. And also, if this little thing that I want to do comes off, I think you'll just go wow. Um, so what I say is, if you don't if I don't speak to you, don't call me or you don't message me or email me. Come and meet us on Friday evening, six o'clock in uh, on the rocks. 
it'd be nice if we can get a big photo of everybody and i'm trying to organize somebody to come down then as well um and then yeah we'll just be around and just have a fabulous time um we we've enjoyed organizing it it's been a bit hairy i know that the app hasn't been the best at times um i know there's been a few issues where things haven't gone right for everybody um if you haven't already get a bar tab put on um i don't know if you need to know about any of the drinks prices the easiest way i explain it for everybody is you're probably talking about ten dollars a drink now if you're a bar tab it's three hundred dollars and you get a hundred dollars extra so you've got 40 drinks to spend on that cruise so you've got like 25 percent extra so it's worthwhile doing the other thing and don't be shocked when we depart from portsmouth any drinks you have when you're on the ship before we depart and um, probably until midnight on that first night there will be a 20 percent vat surcharge the reason being is we're still until we get out of uk waters they have to charge charge that onto all the drinks so don't don't worry and think they shouldn't have been doing that it literally is just uk law uh, i i worried myself i asked the questions i know it is as soon as they get out that 12 miles i think it is it stops then so they are getting out and don't worry they don't go slow so they can charge you a fortune they want to get there and things so uh but the bar tabs is definitely worthwhile doing we had one each and um, by the end of the last night we had about a hundred dollars left and we we spent it in other areas shall we say and you know we we had it and great if you end up with a hundred dollars left at the end of the night and your last drink you think what should i do so what i'd say is shake well, i was going to do something with them but it would have looked awful on camera um shake shake well i'll do it when my phone is better shake for champagne um and they'll wherever you are in the ship if you've got a hundred dollars they'll deliver a bottle of moe and shandon to you and you can enjoy it wherever you're sat so or you can do that anytime on the ship if you want as well so but don't shake it too often because you'll spend your bar tab dead quick <laughs> uh but no guys i'm looking forward to seeing you all um i think there's about 50 of us all together um so it'll be a laugh it'll be fun you know so the, has everybody been jules and ryan have you been on a cruise since we we started sailing again yeah yes yeah 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 i think it's our seventh cruise but it's the first obviously a virgin one so uh yeah we're looking forward to this right brilliant yeah so do you know what it's great it, it doesn't the only difference on a not not excluding virgin because you don't wear the mask the only difference generally is masks everything mm -hmm. else is operating it's just fabulous and i just love being out there on the ocean waves i really do it's like oh, yeah. yeah it's a way to see the world i don't care if i'm going around the the uk like we did last year on six cruises it's just being on a ship it's just great the food the drinks meeting people the socializing meeting friends you know how oh, well this has gone amazingly we are going to look into doing another one and you know, we will we'll probably ask for your feedback where you fancy going, see if it's something that you can organise the with the group, say, well, actually, we want to go to X, Y, Z. Maybe you want to do one of the cruises on Virgin in the Mediterranean or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. We'll look at doing it if you want to join us. But, yeah, we'll be there. And I'm, 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 I'm really excited to be joining everybody, and I can't wait to get down there. Um, but if I do anything wrong, then do tell me, because it's the first one, so I'll hold my hands up. I've never done it before. <laughs> Um, but no, thank you guys for listening. I will uh, go off and I've got another show with Cruise Amigos. If you've ever heard of Cruise Amigos, it's three of us that just talk about everything cruising. Um, we'll be talking to them between six and seven. Um, but yeah, anything you want to know. And that one, actually, somebody's on MSC Maribagalia. They're going to be coming live from the ship as well. So you're going to see that ship or Chap to Chile who's on the ship. That's great. Um, no, brilliant. And if anybody wants to come live with me next week, if you see me around the ship, if I'm videoing anything, you know, please do come along and we'll get you on camera and get your thoughts and things. And, you know, because I will be doing stuff for my page as well. Lastly, if I don't see you on the ship, I'm sure I will do. I'd just like, like to say thank you very much for booking with me. Everybody, I've got a lot of people who've supported me right throughout the pandemic. So from when it hit to even to now. So, you know, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Without you guys, I don't have a business, so thank you for booking with us and supporting us. It really <clears> goes a long way. It is my business, although it's run for a bigger company, it's my business, and what you get is me. It's not like a, a robot or anything, so thank you. Um, and anybody who hasn't booked with us, um, who's listening in, you're missing out. Why are you having your book? But listen, if you want to book, we can still get you on, so give me a call. There are still a few spaces left. Give us a call, we'll get you on that um and thank you guys thanks for joining in i appreciate your heart 45 minutes of your time but 
you've got any questions between now and when we do go, then please do give me a shout. You know, I'm here. If it's tomorrow, it'll probably be Tuesday when I get back to you. Um, but we're here. Um, oh, I've just got somebody come in. Let's just see if they have any questions. Hi, Ed. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you, Martin? I'm all right, thanks. Have you got any any questions, any burning questions that we haven't answered already? Um, I think I think we're okay, thanks. Um, I've got I've got the email about the the test, the an rapid antigen test. So we'll get that done in Jersey. Um, and it just needs to be signed, doesn't it? It needs to be like a signed one from a pharmacist or something. Is that right? Yeah. If they will, if, have you not seen the one where they will deliver one? Will DHL not deliver? Well, it because we're in Jersey, I don't think it's going to get to us on time. Okay. If you do, let me check that for you because you're in Jersey. I'll see what they say because we might be able to sort of see if they will re reimburse you for yours. Okay. It's not likely Thanks. you're going to get it in time and they've only just sent it out. I can't promise. I'll ask the question on the ship tomorrow um, and see uh, how that would work because I know the last ones we did, we had to pay I think, a fiver to get it delivered and they reimbursed us in on board credit on the ship. I'll ask the question for you. If not, then yeah, it has to be, I'll send you the full details to make sure you get the right ones, definitely, and make sure you, you've got the test that's required. It's not more a sign, it's more like a certificate you have to have from a, a laboratory, okay. um, or I don't know how you guys do it over there, where it's slightly different, where we literally just do it, take a picture of it, send it up, and it comes back in a certificate. It's, te it's dead easy. So if, if you can get them in time, it might be worthwhile. I don't know whether that, because it's DHL will send them, so... I don't know where to get them there too, but I'll, I'll sort that one out for you and help you on that one. Anything Thanks. else? Um, we, we, we've booked the, the Wake restaurant, you know, the, the steak restaurant on the first night. Um, yeah. But we were unable to, to book for more than, um, I think, six people. And there's there's 13 of us. So um, I called up guest services and they said, oh, you'll be able to source out when you get on board. But um, I was just wondering if you could sort of help us get a table of 13 people for dinner on the friday evening because right. i just want to make sure that we don't get there and then they say oh we're fully booked and you can't come have you booked now each person can book for it might only be how, how many have you booked for so far i uh, thought uh we've got like three or four bookings i think of four or five each so we've done multiple bookings but we want to have one big table Okay, I'll see because there are only this. I'm trying to think the table on as you walk in under the stairs on the left hand side. I don't know how many, I, it might have been 12. It might okay, have been 12. Um, let me right, where's my card? Hang on, let me make it out. I'll check it out tomorrow on the ship for you and see what I can do. Um, okay. What time are you booked in for? Uh, we're booked in for 8 p.m., I think. 8 p.m. on the Friday. Did you say Friday? Yes, the first night, yeah. Friday, right. Okay, perfect. Right, okay. What I will do is I'll go and have a chat with them for you tomorrow. Uh, Lovely, I'll thanks very much. I'll sort out for you, no problems at all. Uh, that's fine. Thank Anything you. Anything else? Um, how long does it take to go through the whole onboarding process? So when we arrive at Portsmouth Port, how long do you think it will take between arriving at the harbour and actually getting on the ship and checked in? Uh, when we did ours, um, literally from our boarding time, which was half one, we were on the ship by 10 to 2. Okay, so only 45 exactly. minutes. 40 yeah. minutes. 20 minutes. It was literally 20 minutes. Because uh, you just you go through check your check your all your documentation, um, so and it's literally they give you your band. We literally sat down for a few minutes while we waited for the bus, and then we got on the bus and straight on the ship. Cool. Okay. Great. Thank you. It's a really good pro. It's a really good process. Anybody who's in the Rockstar Suites, they will go into the term. Well, you can go into the, everyone can go to the term, into the terminal, but your check-in will be on the right. On the, for everybody who's on the other cabins, there's a separate check-in area around the corner. You check into your, uh, the Ahoy, you'll see it's got Ahoy on it, uh, very virgin branded. You'll go in there, you'll do your check-in, and you'll be on you'll be on the ship very, very quick. The only the reason I say if there was any issues will be anybody with any problems or things like that that could cause issues in your group. Well, you make sure everybody's got everything they need that we've covered. Um, I think, we, we, were you listening in at the beginning of the call? 
Um, I missed a bit at the beginning, I'm afraid. I can't All right, remember. okay. We think Belgium um, has dropped the forms for PLF. Uh, okay. The data forms. We haven't had the official confirmation. I can't find it anywhere yet, so make sure everybody does one just in case. Okay. Um, and I'll send, I'm will send. i going to send everybody the two forms, uh, or links to the two forms uh, later this evening, so you have them. But you probably won't need it, but I don't want anybody to come unstuck in the group. Okay, thanks. Um, uh, but, because I think that that's the only thing you've got to do to get into Belgium, doesn't it? It's just the passenger locator form. Passenger locator form, that's it. Um, and masked on public transport. But we think that because the cruise coach is a, a private run, that you okay. don't have to wear them. But take a mask just in case you're asked to wear it. And is there, free, is there free transportation between Zeebrugge and Bruges when we get off not, the ship? Not between Zeebrugge and Bruges. There's, free, there's a free shuttle bus will take to the gate. Or there's a free shuttle bus that'll take you to Blankenberg, um, which is where you can pick up a train into Bruges. Okay, lovely. So what we were saying earlier on, the quickest and easiest way is come out the terminal, turn left, uh, and there's a booth there where you can buy a ticket into uh, Bruges, return 20 euros each. Okay, cool. but thank you. you guys, you've got a group of you. You might be better off taxiing it. It's only 50 okay. euros in a taxi to get you into Bruges. Oh, really? Okay. So it might be worthwhile looking into that when you get out of, get out of the terminal. And how long does it take to go from Zebrugge to Bruges? About 30, 35 minutes. Okay. So and if you do use the shuttles, they run every half an hour. So they're really good. Um, so that's all good. Um, and let's have a little look. Any Anything else? I think that's it. Thank you. Um, did, did you have like a sort of presentation at the beginning of this call or anything or? It was just a chat. Just a chat. It really nice. was just a chat. So if you want to have a Great. skip through, I think we've covered everything that we mentioned yeah. at the beginning of the call quite quickly there. There was nothing made, nothing I think, but have a quick flip through at the end. So it'll go up on, you'll be able to see it on the page in about five, ten minutes and also on YouTube as well. Amazing. Thank you so much, Martin. Brilliant, brilliant. I'll just check any more questions and then I think we're all done. Um, I'll have an amazing time. Look forward to when you get out to them. Let us have details of the next one. What happens if you're exempt from wearing a mask? Everybody has to wear a mask uh, in Bru in Belgium, where they say on public transport. I don't think there's any exemptions, um, but on the ship, there is, you don't have to wear a mask. So if you don't want to, which is quite nice. Um, I think I think that's everything, guys. Thank you for your time. As I've said, I am available this week. Apart from I'm I'm not available tomorrow because uh, I'm on the ship again uh, doing the recce for everything we need to do um but i am available throughout the week for anything else you want to ask and i'm, I'm uber excited to meet you all so remember six o'clock on uh friday evening in on the rocks or the other one the other main one i would advise everybody to do is when you get on board check the time it's usually about half three head to the dock house uh jake the foodie will be there and he will call, talk to all the restaurants that you're going to and explain it all to you mm -hmm. Um, and be able to have a look for you. Um, so go on. Uh, did somebody say something now? Have a question? No, no. Uh, somebody just put a little hint there. Train is six euros return, about 15 minutes walk from where the shuttle drops you off. Yeah, so you could do that if you want to. Another option there is that, like I said before, uh, get the shuttle to Blankenberg uh, and then you can walk up and get the train in. Um, I personally thought the cruise shuttle was great, it was 20 euros. Uh, but I think on this one, we might be taxiing it in because it's nice and easy. It's only four, there's four of us, so it's 25, well, what, 25 euros each return. It's, you know, door to door service. So it's all up to you guys. As I say, questions, please do ask. Please send me an email or just put, get me on Facebook. I'll answer anything. Um, and I'll put, drop, drop a couple of teasers for you tomorrow around the ship. I may do a go live if I can, if I can get a good signal. Um, but I won't know what time it will be, but you'll be able to catch up with it. Is there anything anybody wants to see particularly while I'm there tomorrow? No, no. I'll, I'll see if anything comes in the questions. Um, but yeah, just let, let us know if there is anything. Um, that's that. Uh, that's that one. I'll enjoy it tomorrow. Brilliant. Right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you because I'm on this other show in six minutes. <laughs> Uh, so I've got to go and do that one, and then I'm, I need to have a roast lamb dinner, and then we're in Liverpool from. She arrives in Liverpool if, if you're up north and want to go and see. I think she arrives about six in the morning, 
seven in the morning there she's in for two days um so if you want to go see the ship you're going on by all means do so um but if you want to see it from the outside all lit up it is amazing you know you see it from a distance when you're on it it's great but when you see it from a distance it's like wow um and we will see you all on friday safe journey down for everybody um and you know or safe journey over for you guys ed from uh, jersey so um, thank you foodie 330 and i'm not i'm not i'm not sponsored by the foodie jake but i just think if you like tapas and you like a good glass of wine want to know where you're going to be eating on the ship it's the best place to be on the afternoon and then six o'clock we'll try and get a nice big group photo in on the rocks but that will be where i'll announce whether we've got um a little surprise for you all <laughs> i'm working on it i'm waiting on the confirmation um and somebody's just asked yes and she is in liverpool tomorrow for two days uh so get down if you want to see her um guys have a lovely evening I will catch you all later. bye bye now Thank take you. care bye